What's up YouTube, LND here. Today, I got something pretty big I want to share. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location is finally actually on Steam as it cycles through um, the screenshots. Um, I think we'll start with that. We got this screenshot here um, in which we have, let me make this bigger on the screen. There we go. I guess that's good. Um, we have here what looks like our office, it seems like. Um, we have different pieces or knickknacks that have parts of the animatronics in them. We got that button down in the right corner there. We have a camera up in the top right. Um, this room has some sort of green light in it. Uh, there is what looks to be the face of whatever that one animatronic that says there's a piece of me in every one of them. I put this fucking quarters down. Um, we got a clock that has baby's face in it. What looks like the little, I think there are bitty babs or whatever, something like that. Um, down in the bottom left corner. Down here at the bottom too, we have, uh, I don't even know what the fuck that is. A new animatronic that we didn't know. Part of one. A poster on the window there. A uh, couple TV screens up here. Actually got six of them here. So I wonder if those are going to be our monitors. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, we got this one, which is just a closer look at the elevator, it looks like. There is a reflection of something there. I don't know if I can make this bigger. I can't. Um, I'll go back, and if that's anything, I'll throw it at the end of the video. So there's that. we already seen that, really. Um, we have here a different room with some t metal tubing, I guess, um, and Funtime Fredbear, I believe, is the official name of this guy, uh, just chilling in the dark, and I believe that's Baby up there in the corner. I'll brighten this up, I'll cut, cut here, and I'll brighten it up, or whatever, and if there's something there, I'll throw it in there, otherwise I'll just keep going. Um, we got a vent here, which I don't know if there's anything in there. Again, I'll cut it here, brighten it up if there's anything in there. I'll throw it in. If not, I'll just I'll just just be keep going. Let's do the shit. And the last one here is another thing for the elevator, which also looks like we have the the button with us, and we have look around with mouse. So. I guess this is slightly alluding to possibly free roaming in this game. Uh, it, the colored lights, I don't see anything special in that. This one looks like it might get something out of it, so brighten it up, so I'll do that too. That's pretty much it for the screenshots. I mean, well, that is it. The, that trailer that's on there is just normal stuff. So, it's available, supposedly supposed to be available October 2016. Let's see if Scott, for once, actually release it the day he says he's going to. Um, I just want to read the About section here. Um, Welcome to Circus Babies Pizza World, where family fun and interact yeah, interactivity go beyond anything you've seen at those other pizza places. With cutting-edge animatronic entertainers that will knock your kids' socks off, as well as customized pizza c catering. No party is complete without Circus Baby in the gang. Now hiring late night technician, must enjoy cramped spaces and be comfortable around active machinery, not responsible for death or dismemberment. So I'm guessing from that that we're going to be not playing as like a night guard or anything, just a worker of the animatronics, somebody who fixes them and repairs them. Um, I guess that would understand the free roam part. Um, another thing that kind of alludes to that, that voice crack is ridiculous, is the fact that it, there, all these screenshots seem to take place in different locations. Like, this doesn't look like a camera view. This looks like our character inside a vent. This looks like our character just in whatever the fuck this, some weird control room maybe. This looks like it's pos possibly being stalked in like a different area or something. I'm not sure. Um, it is, in fact, a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I was curious at first if Scott was just simply going to call this game 
sister location. But this is in fact a Five Nights at Freddy's game. A Five Nights at Freddy's sister location. Which is, I don't know, weird to me. I thought maybe it wasn't actually going to be a Five Nights at Freddy's game. I don't think that's it. I guess there's the specs if you're interested in. Pretty much any computer could probably could run this game. Um, and really, that's about it. I'm really excited to see this game. I'm really excited to play it, especially if it's free roam. If this is anything that we're, that allows us to move freely more than FNAF 4, that would be awesome. Being able to go between uh, different rooms and explore different locations and interact with the animatronics in a way we couldn't before being chased by them. I see so many of these free roam fan games and watching like Springtrap or whatever walk by you is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. So why Scott hasn't took that into consideration is kind of beyond me because that would make the game so much more better if you were actually chased by the animatronics. Uh, that's pretty much it guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.